What is going on guys, today I'm bringing you a brand new FIFA 19 trading method. Now all three of these will make you a ton of coins and of course if you do enjoy, like usual, make sure to drop a like down below. If you are new around here, make sure to subscribe with notifications on so you see all of my trading videos. We're going to have a squad builder soon, we're going to have some packs, we're going to have quite a bit this week so it's quite a jam-packed week. Make sure to turn notifications on so you get to see it all but without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> So the first player we're going to have a look at guys is Emil Forsberg's screen card. Now this card wasn't the hardest to snipe but you do see I have sped up the footage because I was sniping him for quite some time. Now after sniping him for probably about 20 minutes I managed to pick up one of them quite decently. I think it was only about 2k under his regular price. Then we managed to get one a bit later on for 13k which meant when I sold him on for 17 it was a 4k profit. Obviously after EA tax we lost a little there but it was still a 3k plus profit so that was quite nice. Obviously that one for 16 we sold on for 17.5 I believe and that's not a huge profit but the second one where we picked it up for 13 that was a very nice profit. I do believe that people are undercutting screen cards quite a bit because they are a bit useless now. The SBCs have ended. They've already sort of done all the SBCs they were going to do. They did the Schweinsteiger and then they did the Koke and they don't look like they're going to do another one in the future. So screen cards are almost useless now, which is why people are undercutting them. It's easy to snipe them. And although the cards are good, if you look at the Forsberg card, that is a really good card because of the way that they're changing the stats every sort of event you don't know what he's going to be there could be a time when he's got sort of 90 passing and 90 physical but then his shooting and his dribbling they change and things like that so it isn't the best card to pick up for a team so i think that's why people are undercutting them there's no one really wants them for their team because you don't really want a card where the stats can change and it could actually change the whole sort of vibe of your team it could ruin that team for you so no one's really picking them up now the second card as you can see once again with a bundesliga theme is Bellarabi. now we managed to pick up quite a few of him i think overall i picked up four now, I was sniping him originally when rewards came out, so when the weekend league rewards and when foot champs, so it was foot champs rewards, it was revivals rewards, squad battles rewards if people were still opening them, and he was going for 25k. So I picked one up, I actually put him in my team, I'll do a squad builder soon, you'll see why he is in that team, and I picked up one for 25k, so if I'd have picked up more, would have made a ton. When I was sniping them today, they were going for 31 selling on for just over 33 so not huge profits but anyone who invested in him yesterday you've made a ton anyone who can snipe him for a little bit cheaper you'll make loads what i'd suggest is snipe him 29k and under and then if there is any like squad battles or anything like that in the next few days and um, any rewards that come out lower it a little bit and you should be able to get him quite cheaply especially when squad battles rewards comes out on monday now sancho he's another player he's someone who i actually thought was going to be a lot more expensive than he was and he is a right mid from England who plays in Bundesliga. In terms of just in general, I think his card is quite rare. You don't have many English players in the Bundesliga. For him to then get an inform is really, really sort of odd. And he would be really good for a lot of SPCs, but I think because of his rating, he does sort of lower that a little bit but he is a really nice card i'm actually probably going to keep him as a super sub or one of them as a super sub but we managed to snipe two of him and they were really easy to snipe as well purely because quite a low price player not many people are keeping him for their teams not many people are looking at buying him so it was easy to snipe him now if you have enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like down below subscribe if you are new and i will see you in the next one